welcome to the Ordinance Committee meeting of December 15th. I'm Councilor David Murphy. I chair the Ordinance Committee. If you're wondering why we have a cast of thousands here tonight, it's because it's also posted as a council meeting because one of our agenda items is next year's council rules. So it's been doubly posted. So uh, it, is, it is an Ordinance Committee meeting. Um, I'm going to announce that we are audio and video recording and taking notes and messages. Uh, we have the Ordinance Committee members present, uh, Councilor Warren Carney and Councilor Ryan O'Donnell are the Ordinance Committee members here. And the Council members who have joined us are Councilor Spector, Councilor Skira, Councilor Bobard, right? Oh, and Councilor <laughs> Bobard. And, uh, and uh, Pam is here, she's our Council Executive Secretary. So we're going to start out uh, by calling the meeting to order and then asking for public comment because we don't always have public here to comment, but we have public tonight. So as we do in council, if you would, you know, even though you're a frequent flyer here, if you would give your name and address and uh, then you're welcome to address the ordinance committee. Yes, of course. So uh, I'm Jasper Lachinsky and I live at 43 West Street. And um, I came because I strongly support, oh, stop it, phone. I strongly support the new subcommittee structure. I commend Councillor O'Donnell on his work because it is truly well thought of. Specifically, I want to emphasize the value of having public works in its own committee. Public works in this city has been neglected by the council for a long, long time. The suggestion that this committee wouldn't have enough to talk about is ludicrous and insulting to those of us who spend every day wishing that the council would address the city's antiquated and unhelpful approach to public works. So, to start you off, here are 30 items I request added to the committee's agenda if it is approved. Condition of sidewalks in the South Street neighborhood. Removal of benches along bike trails, as in I oppose that. Plowing of bike trails. Viability of the homeowner requirement for sidewalk shoveling. Transition to clean energy use for DPW vehicles. Addition of solar to DPW facilities. Adding sidewalks to Damon Road and other highly populated areas. Narrowing Elm Street and other wide roads. Installing parking meters in Florence. Burying power lines in areas where large trees conflict instead of cutting the trees down. Removing unnecessary fences from Sheldon Field and other areas. Installing bus stop signs at unmarked bus stops. Completing the bike trail to Haydenville. Adding a left turn signal from Main Street to Pleasant Street. Reducing the windfall benefits of free services to Cooley Dickinson and Smith Colony. Separating the bike trail from the roundhouse lot with a barrier. Finding a way to give bicycle crossings the right way. Removing signs from bike trails that say, bike route. I know that, thank you. And establishing a level of usefulness for spending taxpayer money on signs. Using eminent domain to establish public access to Rainbow Beach. Implementing restrictions on parking lot illumination. Inclusion of day ab traffic in the pedestrian light that's on Bridge Road. Seeking grants to elevate the low bridge on Main Street. Examining ways to occasionally or permanently close Main Street to cars. Cleaning up the toxic land on King Street and Roundhouse Plaza. Reducing width of wide driveways like Sirius, uh, as far as crosswalks and, and so forth. Closing Pomeroy Terrace corner to traffic that was discussed in the previous meeting. Um, building a bike trail along the dike Dyke from Pomeroy to Route 5. Exploring ways to allow bids to go to local contractors even if they aren't the cheapest. And building adequate shelters at major bus stops. I think that's 30, but if I'm one off in either direction, I apologize. That's my public comment. I think you have enough to talk about, and I suggest that you keep the Public Works Committee by itself and just actually talk about stuff instead of just saying, oh, we don't have anything to talk about. Yes, you do. Thank you. Anyone else for public comment? Going once, going twice, I guess we're set. So how about approval of our minutes from November 9th? I move we approve the uh, minutes of November 9th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Um, yeah. Is it's not working? I don't know, did it do? It was working when I left it. It might be out of the alarm. That's the alarm. That's alarm. Oh, it is. Right yeah. No, the camera was going fine when I left. Okay. Don't worry, it's just an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Actually, was it this committee? The police actually busted us and then yes, they alarm. Yes. Yeah, it was this committee. The police came in. Remember that? And we we offered them the chance to stay and observe us, but they decided to go back and do whatever they were doing. At least we're just here. What's going on? Oh, that was the parking people. They 
strikingly similar. They're going all into the day. So, um, orders and ordinances are next. And we've had a request from Councilor Specter that we move up in the order of uh, council rules. Does anyone object to that? No. You're a lucky winner. So council rules are now on the table. And uh, they were referred back to us for some specific changes. Do you have uh, new information for us, Council? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if it's brand new information, but just first of all, I apologize at the other meeting for dragging this back to this committee. I'm not fighting for this tooth or nail, but I want to just say that Jasper's comment proved my point that if I was counting how many of his items actually would be better if there was a joint committee of public safety or even transportation parking and public works because Almost every one of his items, if you think back, had to do with bike trails, signage, streets, safety on streets, widening things, where the discussion, and this is why I prefaced the last argument. I think our committee used to be a great committee before the charter change, because we had this wide range of people at the committee meeting. And it was very much like, I would say, um, public safety, for example. You had the players at every meeting if you needed them there. And we had great discussions, and we were able to talk about a lot of different things. Most of them were not on his list, because a lot of those are about streets, and even things like uh, the bike trails generally come under, or signage on the bike trail weren't under that kind of purview that we talked about. So I kind of, this came from missing all those years of what was, I felt, one of the most vibrant committees I was on and trying, and I thought that a way to do that would be to combine it with another committee where you had more of the players showing up. And one reason it became uh, a little challenging was in, in order for us to have people come to the meeting, we had to have a specific agenda item where we said, um, Mr. Lorelei from the DPW, could you please come to our next committee meeting here from the DPW because we're gonna talk about this agenda item at some point. And it was very different than having the kind of free flow of information when we had members of the BPW, members, uh, we always had Ned Huntley, we always had Jim Lorelei there. And so that was my only suggestion. And that I thought that that committee would do better by having it merge with one of those other committees because of the very issues that were talked about here. And so just for some history, for any insomniac that may watch this off the yes. server, um, you were talking about when it was the joint committee, joint city council, board of public works, which conference changed about committee. a year ago. So yeah, and then when the charter came about, the board of public works went away. Board of public works went away. So they weren't we there became, anymore. Yeah. So you just became the city council public works committee. Committee, and it was just councilors. It was just councilors, and and we had like any other committee, we could invite. Um, any anybody who wanted to come to that meeting, but before that, it was about a nine, a nine or ten member mm -hmm. committee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to, so we've talked about the transportation parking commission, which is not strictly council members. That's there are two council right. me council members are there, but it also has planning, it has police, mm -hmm. the public works people. But that's not a, one of our committees. That's a commission to which we, the council president assigned liaison council. And if it was possible to re, in the council rules, which I don't think it is, but if you could restructure, which, this, and you remember I opposed the change of that committee. And I, when we, when we talked about that on the council mm -hmm. floor, and so I disagreed with the mayor on the restructuring. And if there was any way to restructure it so that it was a committee that, that was more like the commission, fine. Mm -hmm. but. It, Look, I just brought it up as a point. It, I, I think it would be fine to keep it as a standalone committee as it is. I would just think it needs, you would need to look at it a little more. And, mm -hmm. But so the, but the public the public works, um, what is it, commission now? The public works commission is an, is an executive entity. So we would have to say, gee, can almost like the old conference committee, because they before that they were their own sort of independent thing, can, can we have members of that meet with this one so that we at least theoretically are back to similar uh, and, and, yeah. resources? And, and that's practice. not part of, that's actually not part of council rules yeah. because we don't have control we, over that. But I, that would be my suggestion. I've served on both. 
Uh, you've served on both for a shorter time, but I thought it was a vibrant, great committee. It was my concern when we changed it that we were going to eliminate what I felt was one of the best committees on the council, one of the most important ones, and in fact it did. It, it, it just really changed the nature of it. You can imagine if you change the Public Safety Commission to a committee, have three counselors there, and like any agenda item, you'd have to invite the police chief, invite the fire marshal. Well, sometimes you don't know. You're talking about one issue, and it's like, mm -hmm. whoa. It, it just makes for a very mm -hmm. different conversation. So, so, but transportation and parking, Councilor Lafarge, it's an ordinance thing, right? I think it's ordinance, isn't it? Sure. <clears throat> well, established by, oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking about what? Yeah. yeah, if I can answer. Yeah. I'm hearing Councilor Spector say three counselors. Isn't that four on each committee that we were looking at? Yeah, and it would be four. The new one. But it would yeah. still be counselors. Now, that's what yeah. it looks like. But I, I like what you're saying. And I think maybe we really should look at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Councilor. Well, I hope we also debate we can have cute dogs as part of our committee as well, because the code is adding a lot. <laughs> that's not a dog, that's a counselor. Uh, sorry. Right. Um, but I, so my question would be, the, the issues that council inspectors pointed out are the issues we have today, right? Because after the charter change, it's not the case that we have those multi-member bodies in the same way, except the ones that are established by administrative order by the mayor like the Transportation Department Commission. Mm -hmm. This is what I understand. Yeah. Because okay. yeah. some of them, some of them exist by ordinance and some by administrative order. So we couldn't, we, we couldn't create, we could create our committee, but we'd have to have the mayor do an administrative order that said that the, the, the Public Works Commission people who are on the administration side, because it's one of his committees, does joint meetings with you. So we couldn't do that on our rules. We'd have to have the mayor say, okay, I'll put some people in with your people and we'll yeah. So, I guess my suggestion would be rather than the rules, I just leave that as something that you might want to think about going down the road. A philosophical statement. Approach, but you know, I will say that I discussed this with the mayor when he, when we were talking about this almost a year ago, and I fought with him about this to, in a very gentleman way, that I disagreed with that decision. I, I would hope that it would become a commission. And you know, he had said at the time, well, let's see how this goes. So I'm weighing in to say, I don't, and I, I don't know, uh, Councilor Adams has been on, I think, for four or five, a couple of times you've been there. Um, but I think the feeling was certainly from Councilor Adams and I, we haven't talked about it, that we would have liked to see it return to that kind of commission, which would have to be an executive decision. So, Otherwise, thank, I, I think that you did a great job on these okay. committees. I, I didn't, and again, I, I didn't mean to throw this into the, you know, into the works at the last moment. So. But, like, if I may, no, again, I don't actually see it that way at all. I think it's good to, to deliver it on this uh, floor. So. Can I get a motion on the floor to actually, on, this, on these rules, can I vote and return to the council with a neutral recommendation? Now, do we have, do we have, uh, subsequently, do we have, um, do you want to do that prior to us debating amendments to it? I think we get the motion on the floor and then we can amend within it, but whatever your preference is. She's back. She's back. I just wanted the police to know that I turned off the alarm. Ah, okay. Because they're here again. So, uh, all right, so for the purposes of discussion, uh, Councilor Don wants to put this on the floor uh, with a neutral recommendation and then discuss and make changes and, and that's the way it would go back. So do we have a second for that? Okay. Okay, so we'll begin our discussion. So um, that's uh, somebody from the committee. From the committee, yeah, we have a second. Uh, uh, right. um, all right, so um, we've had your Councilor Specter's philosophical recommendation. And uh, Councilor Adams, I thought, had some things he was going to yeah, do. He did. He's not with us tonight. So, um, to the other changes that brought us here tonight. Well, uh, um, 
I think since we're talking about these, um, there had been a suggestion that the committee on public works committee. Right now, we have before us a standalone committee on public works and utilities, and there was a suggestion that that be merged in with the committee on city services. And I think su suggested at the last council meeting that I thought that that already the committee on public safety is being built out for a committee on city services that with many additional city services, including the council on aging, veterans affairs, boards in the library community and economic <coughs> development, those all added on to the um, present uh, committee, which looks at uh, f uh, fire and EMS, police, um, the building, building department, <coughs> and um, the board of health. <coughs> so I think that, I think that adding on I suggested that I thought that it would be too much to merge that committee into the Committee on City Services. And um, maybe some of what uh, Jasper suggested in terms of the many, many issues that uh, a committee could look at that have to do with public works. It's, it's possible that a committee on public works and utilities, um, especially if we considered one that um, might be uh, might take, uh, may, maybe could be a combined committee of counselors and select members of the uh, Public Works Commission that exists right now. And that there, there may be, uh, that that may work well to have a standalone committee that could uh, set out an agenda of many useful things for the city. So that was my concern. My concern was that there was a suggestion that it be merged in with the Committee on City Services, and I did think that that was a little bit, that, that was adding mm -hmm. so we, too much. So we propose not making a change there, leaving it as it is, and simply asking the mayor if he would, from his side, create an administrative entity to join that committee of people from the Public Works Commission. And that yeah. would yeah. accomplish. Okay. Um, so. Sure. Could you, could you just explain that again? Okay. So right now, um, we are being offered a whole bunch of yes. uh, committee structure change. One is a committee on city services, and one is a committee on public works and utilities. Right. It was suggested to us at the last council meeting that we have, that we merge those two. Mm -hmm. that, uh, I think Jesse did. Uh, Councilor Adams, I think Councilor Adams made that suggestion, but I may be wrong. I don't, I don't remember. And I thought that it might be a little bit too much that right, right presently what, what we're being offered in terms of our revamped Committee on City Services more than doubles the, um, the city entities that that committee looks at by adding uh, the Recreation Department, Veterans Affairs, Council on Aging, Boards and Willard Libraries, Community and Economic Development. Those are all added on to police, fire, EMS, building commissioner, and board of public health. So I think that right, right now it's more than more than doubled in terms of the, the uh, city entities that it, that that committee on city services reviews. And so I don't think that merging in the public works on top of all of the rest of those. Would be, I think that I think that we could instead have a standalone committee on public works and utilities, and perhaps it wouldn't be just counselors, but perhaps it could be four counselors and some select members of the newly established Public Works Commission. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Which is not under our approval. Right. I have some concerns on Committee of City Services. I highly agree about public safety being with social services. There's no question about it. Maybe Councilor Ryan O'Donnell, you can explain. You have disability and then you have aging. What's that all about? Um, Committee on City Services. Well, let's see, Councilor. Um, I'd note that the Disability Commission 
course, is entirely separate, as you know, because it's established by state law. So I intended that to remain the same. Okay. Um, okay. I think what I was trying to indicate, if I have the word disability in there, is that it's um, potentially an issue that we look at. Although, I'm not sure I have the actual word in there, unless I'm mistaken. But I, I did, is it in there? Disability in 2.6.1.3.1. Yeah. Oh, absolutely correct. Um, yeah, I guess what I was trying to do with the City Services Committee is, is as Councilor Carnick was saying, kind of take all the direct services that we provide as a city. Okay. You know, and, and have that be their jurisdiction, as opposed to everything else in the city that's important, but we don't do directly, like economic development or porters, you know, stuff like that. So. Now, what about the aging? Are you talking about the council on aging? Um, or the senior I, services, what are you talking I guess, about? I guess I would contemplate, well now we refer, we have a city services department, and I would contemplate that to be an area of concern for this, this committee. Um, because I really like the idea with public safety and social services. Okay. I think this should, definitely they should be working together on okay. social services. There's a lot of issues out there right now, mm -hmm. and I think that's good that that's placed there. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, at this point, <laughs> then, uh, we're not intending to make any changes. We're going to leave the Public Works Committee the way it is yes. in hopes that the mayor will join it somehow uh, by executive action with his Public Works Commission, and there are no other changes. Yeah. yeah that's right, but I, I just comment that um, the council inspectors idea to monitor this and see what can be done mm -hmm. from the mayor's side is a, is a mm -hmm. intelligent one. Mm -hmm. We'll have to monitor it anyway, see right. how it works. And we can't do it with our rules, so exactly. yeah. we're, we're set. Yeah. So that being said, and the fact that uh, I, I thought Councilor Adams might have had some things, but he's not here tonight, so I'm, I'm sure he'll bring them up in council if he has them. Mm -hmm. So uh, that being said, and with nothing else to do with these, uh, shall we vote on our proposed motion to return it without uh, recommendation and without change? Ready? Yes. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Okay. Good. Can, can I just ask to clarify, are you returning it without a recommendation yeah. or a neutral recommendation? With, with I neutral. 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 With neutral. 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 Okay. okay. Fine. What's the difference? I don't know. No recommendation or neutral recommendation? Well, the motion no, was no made for neutral, right? No recommendation seems to have so. a negative connotation. Oh. No, that would be, that would be a no, that would be a no. Proposed neutral, so yeah, no, no, it's yeah, we're not, and we didn't change it, <laughs> so we didn't do anything to it. Uh, so it's just going back. Thank you for the opportunity, and, thank you. And there's no motion for a canine council being established. No, I guess not. No canine council, thank you guys. Sorry, thanks. I would have thought council or I don't think it was a All right, thank you. Gonna see you on Thursday. I gotta go to another. Do I have a huge favor to ask you? 30. 30. Oh. <coughs> Are you going somewhere? They said they're all kind of dog on this line. Okay, so that'll come up then. This is a cool thing. It's not who said it, you'll laugh. We'll, we'll see it again on Thursday. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming and joining us. Fred, what's this? Got to meet Don't the pretty dog. Councilor Specter, was your, this your next to the last meeting? Uh, no, I still have a couple of committee meetings. Oh, okay. We'll see you on Thursday. Yep. So, uh, back on schedule. Um, 15.377, Zoning Ordinance for Significant Trees. And we were fortunate to have one of the sponsors here. Uh, and this went back for a little modification from our last ordinance committee. And what did they say? A year? I think she changed. I believe um, the change, 18 months to 12. Ch changed to 12. Um, so we're at section C, <clears throat> yeah. the removal of any significant tree after July 1st, 2015, or within 12 months, immediately prior to such a site plan or zoning relief. Okay. So just cut six months off the. Addresses your concern. Yeah, my concern that it would go back too far. All right. Um, any other? That's what happened there, uh, Councillor Carney. Any other issues with this one? No. 
these are other cosmetic changes. Nothing substantive. Nothing substantive. Move around a little bit. All right. As you can see. So do we have a motion on this? Move a positive recommendation. Second. Okay. Great. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. All right. That was on the way. And then. I just want to point out that on Thursday, you guys will either take two readings on this to get it through mm -hmm. or to, take it over. to carry it over. So just so you know. All right. Okay. And now the, uh, the waiting for finance recommendation on the paid sick time. Uh, finance will meet as part of the council meeting. So we can dispose of that at that point in time. And we're all going to, I think all the committees are meeting to approve minutes because we'll, we'll meet briefly in ordinance, or in, in ordinance to approve our minutes from this meeting. And um, I'm assuming if we do that after finance, we could then act on this okay. then. So. Uh, well, you're not going to have it on the agenda. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So you won't be able to act on it in ordinances, Mike. Oh, too late for the agenda. Uh, yeah. yeah. So this carry it over and this goes into the future. Yeah, we'll just carry it over to January and this one, the paid sick time. Yeah. What is it on the agenda for carry over? Because we have to vote to carry it over, don't we? Mm -hmm. I don't have oh. any any carry over well, it's on the agenda, so how you vote on it. Well, I don't have this is on the, it, this comes up on the agenda not in finance but in the general council meeting so we could oh, okay. at that point say let's carry this over okay it hasn't progressed that far it could be reintroduced as well so okay. you keep your choice in a motion at that when it comes up if you want to carry it over or resubmit it after the beginning of the, All right. the new session but that and we already did council rules. So, so can can you give me a, what we're doing with this one? Are you oh, just ignoring it? We're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna. Can. Send, can it, send it back to city council with what? I mean, it's, we've been just waiting on it, so we could send it to council with no recommendation, and council can decide to carry it over for the new session, or council can decide just to let it go away, and then you can reintroduce it in the new year with the new council and. Yeah, because it will still it will come back to us again then anyway, right? Okay. Or whoever us is after January. Is there any use to keeping it keeping it in this committee? It's in proper legal form. And is that is no? Well, actually, why don't we send it back to council with no recommendation? I mean, I don't. Whatever you want. Yeah, let's send it back with no recommendation. And council will decide at council what to do with it. Whether we want to okay. continue okay. it over and send it back here, whether we want to let right. it go away and have you resubmit it, or. Gets it off our agenda anyway. So yeah, and we'll clean up our agenda for the so end I of the year. I hope we send it with no recommendation. Okay. I assess it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we'll send it back, and the council, in its infinite wisdom, can do what it wants to do with it. Okay. So now we're on to a major list of appointments here. And I'm just going to read off because because the whole a lot of the first of them are, are reappointments. Uh, Teresa Dunn, 46 Finn Street, to the Council on Aging. It's a reappointment. Barbara Fungaroli, um, back to the Council on Aging. These are both uh, from April 15 to June 18, even though they, they're, still, they're still obviously there. Barbara Fungaroli of Landy Avenue, and uh, Maureen Sinkowitz of Hatfield Street, and these are all April 15th to Aye. June 18th, and so they're obviously still there. Um, you have one more on the same date, the other James Spencer, Aye. April to June. Oh yeah, he's there too. Jim Spencer, 12 Middle Street, yeah. 2015 to 2018. So those are all reappointments. Um, as reappointments, do you want to see them or just move them as a group? I can move them as a group with a positive recommendation. <clears throat> second. Second. All right, any more discussion on those? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, the next one is uh, an appointment to that same committee uh, to fill up an unex to fill um, an expired the uh, expired term 
of Patricia Healy, and that would be Melissa Enberg, 288 Birds Pit Road, Northampton, September 15 to June 16. It's a shorter one, but it fills an unexpired term. And Jerry Ann Butler of 46 Autumn Drive in Florence, June 2015 uh, to June or to 2018, November 15 to June 18, to fill a vacancy uh, left by an unexpired term of Diana Solar. Um, do you want to speak to them, or do you want to move them at this point? These are new appointments to fill unexpired terms on the Council on Aging. Point of clarification, I mean, <clears throat> I might have lost my place here. I see Jerry and Butler under Council on Aging, but I thought we just took those to group with Maureen. Oh, we took the, yeah, we took the, took the reappointments. Oh, I'm sorry. We oh, took the reappointments as a group, and now there are two new people oh, um, I didn't that are that. filling on expired terms, Not and sure. I didn't know whether you wanted to, I broke, I, you know, I broke out the, the reappointments. Mm -hmm. I didn't know whether you wanted to do something different with the new appointments to fill on expired terms. Whatever the pleasure of the committee is. I, I find that these are the come recommended to us by the mayor. Mm -hmm. So do you want to move for a point? I'll move uh, these two as a group uh, with a positive recommendation. Second. Second. Okay. Any more discussion on those? All in favor? Please say aye. 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 Okay. And then on um, the Disability Commission, Letitia Ward, 66 Willow Street in Florence, uh, to fill uh, the unexpired term of Lori Eklund, that would be from November 15th to June 18th. And Letitia, I know, and has been involved with this commission before. I think the one qu question we had um, is that she's a Canadian citizen, not a U.S. citizen. But I'm assuming the mayor's office figured that one out. <laughs> I'll move, uh, Letitia? Letitia yeah, she's been in the chamber before going to different events and things. So. With Second. a positive recommendation. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, and then the Community Preservation Committee, mm -hmm. uh, Julia Shaven of 8 Cosmain okay. Avenue, September 15th to June 18th. And she's a new appointment, but she's the representative of um, the. Uh, Recreation Commission, and that's one of the statutory people that has to be there. I'll move uh, Julia Chapman with a positive recommendation. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And again, those they have to send a rep, and that's who they want to send. So, uh, and then to the Parks and Recreation Commission, Glenn Connolly, 48 Platinum Circle, from June 15 until June 18. This is a reappointment. Move, Mr. Connolly. Is there a positive point? recommendation? Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And then Transportation and Parking Commission, um, Jamie Fisher, 50 Manhan Street, Northampton, term November 15 to June 17. This is a new appointment to fill a vacancy left by James Lowenthal. Uh, I move positive recommendation this person. Okay. Oh, and okay. And you chair that commission, so you obviously I, know. I spoke. I spoke with him in. Person actually has attended the commission meeting, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, also to the Transportation Parking Commission, we could move as a group. Can we, if we could, uh, Rich Cooper, That's who's fine. a reappointment. That's fine. Is yeah, it group's yeah. fine? Because yeah. Rich That's has been right. on yeah. there and, and, and serving. So uh, for the two of them, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Those, uh, it's good. Where did James go? Just a point of information. To Canada. Oh, oh he's, he's go back. He's moving? I think he's on sabbatical. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's on sabbatical. Can he ride his bike in Quebec? <laughs> <laughs> he loves the lighting and the street lights there. In Quebec. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. I know he's been a, a major player there for a long time, yes. so I just wondered, you know, where he yes. went. But. He'll be missed. Yeah. Does he speak French? I don't know. I don't know. He never spoke French oh, at the trans hmm? If he's in Quebec, I hope he does. Okay. So, and then some more appointments. <laughs> Um, Joshua Bedell, 20, 264 Riverside Drive, uh, this is to the Arts Council, uh, June 15 to June 18, and this would be a reappointment for him. These are all out Arts Council, so we may want to take them as a group. Uh, George Myers, 145 South Street, June 15 to June 18, 
uh, Eric Olson, 201 Park Hill Road, Northampton, May 15 to June 18. Um, Jan Ruby, 51 Fairfield Avenue, Northampton, June 15 to June 18. And Catherine Service, 18 Butler Place, um, September 15 to June 18. And these are uh, all reappointments to the Arts Commission. You want to take them as a group? Move them as a group with a positive recommendation. Second. Second. Okay. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 And then another reappointment. The uh, mayor's definitely cleaning out the cause of reappointments here. Board of Almonders, Andrea Murray, 54 Day Avenue, one of your constituents. Yes, I move a positive recommendation. And the term is November 15th to June 18th. And we've got a motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and that appears to be our agenda much quicker than I thought, because I sort of yeah. thought we might be dealing with the rules for a while, but yeah. Councillor Adams isn't here to whatever he wanted, and Councillor Specter was all set, so I guess we're done. Do you have anything else you need us to do, ma'am, while you're the voice of reason here? No, you want to be ready to go home? Yeah? Earlier than I thought. Yeah, I did, too. I thought we'd be here seven yeah. seven thirty, but a bunch of reappointments, and I guess we're good. We'll be adjourned. Second. Let me go. All in favor? Aye. Consider us adjourned.